After the insects have died, you take them out of the freezer, and sometimes insects can be really dry and brittle. Uh, for example, Lepidoptera, moths and butterflies. If they are not uh, soft, when you try to spread the wings, they can crack and break, kind of like old leaves or crackers. This right here is a bell jar. Um, it's a glass chamber, and <clears throat> it creates humidity. And they use these in, for many different labs. Uh, either for rehydrating or dehydrating uh, chemicals or specimens, etc. So in this bell jar, I have various insect specimens. I have moths, beetles, uh, bees, and they're set in these petri dishes. Now in this bell jar, there is liquid, and this liquid is water mixed with uh, Windex um, or 409, some kind of chemical, and it prevents um, algae um, and mold from growing on the specimens. It's set on this ceramic dish um, and on the ceramic dish there's, it's porous, it has little holes in it, so it allows moisture to come up and it's really good to set one of these bell jars next to a window where there's light and then it'll create a little humid chamber. The humidity will soften the insects so if they are dry, you can manipulate the wings and other body parts. There's some other, insect, other arthropods too, um, non-insects like scorpions. So this uh, is an emperor scorpion. It's really uh, dried right now. And so what I'm doing is putting this in a uh, bell chamber here to soften this. And usually arachnids and other non-insect arthropods go in ethanol um, and that's the best way to preserve them but you can mount specimens like this dried if you want to and so what I'm going what I'm trying to do here is soften this specimen so I can spread the legs and claws uh, so it looks nice in a nice display case <laughs>